Say good morning. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. So we are heading to um, a public school and we're going to get a speech and language evaluation assessment. Frida Myers, are you ready? Yeah. Um, so we're going to do this and then on next Thursday we will do like a big art meeting and it's to get Maya into a public school like class um, for deaf and hard of hearing children and I'm excited. Are you excited Maya? <laughs> so uh, we will let y'all know the results and more details when I know them. Peace out! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna keep it real. Um, we just went to the evaluation and it was a disaster. <gasps> Literally look at her y'all. She was exhausted. So pretty much we went there, she did awesome in the beginning, and then she was just cranky, she wasn't about it, she wasn't feeling it. Um, backstory, she is getting her back molars in, like the back ones, and has been running fever off and on all week. She has like a green runny nose and a slight cough. So y'all, she hasn't slept, I haven't slept, daddy hasn't slept, it's been a rough week. So we rescheduled for Monday and daddy's gonna take her and then we'll get results, all the results after that. But for now, she's going to be with Rara. We're back at school. She's going to go be with Rara, which is my mother, for today. And then we're going to begin our weekend festivities. But right now, she's about to go see my mom. So she fell asleep in five minutes. American Sniper. The scene with the baby and starts crying. Super fake baby. But Shay gets this feeling that she's pregnant and she's like, dude, we need to get a test like soon. So we get the test and it turns out she's pregnant. Then we, so we start that process, whatever that process was. And then we go see the doctor, and then that's... So, um, at like my fourth or fifth doctor's appointment, um, after we already knew I was having a girl, by the way, um, I started having contractions. So they admitted me into the hospital for a night, and I was fine. It was just Braxton Hicks, don't know, she was fine, and then... Turns out... Maya wasn't growing. She stopped growing for a little while and they were pretty worried about that so they sent us to a specialist in Houston and we were living in Lake Charles at the time so that was miserable. We drive to Houston to see the specialist and uh, the specialist starts to scare us like terribly. He's saying that she could, she has all this fluid in her lungs and stuff and she's stalled out growing and she might have, what was it, like downs, uh, cystic fibrosis, all these options and we're like, great, uh, stressed out. And then uh, time goes by, we go to another appointment. That was scary. <laughs> uh, and you wanna tell them about all right. that? So, um, I actually went to this appointment oh, yeah. um, by myself. Um, we lived in Lake Charles and my doctor was in Beaumont. So, Lucas was at work, I was like, it's fine, like, I'm okay, like, I'm just gonna go to this doctor's appointment. So I go to this appointment completely by myself and I start having really bad contractions. And the nurse is like, are you feeling these? Because they put this little thing on your belly to like, monitor the baby and stuff. I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, look at this. Yo, I wish I, I could have printed this, like the contraction box. It was insane. We might have a picture of we it. We might. We'll put it on the screen we'll now look. if we do. If we do, it'll be up now. Anyways, so 
she was like, this is like contractions back to back and we gotta get you into the hospital. I'm freaking out, I'm by myself, no baby daddy. <laughs> we were going to appointments like weekly. Yes, so. no baby daddy, no mom, no one there with me, and no hospital bag, nothing. So they admit me and my aunt, thank God for my aunt, she's a nurse and she was there within five minutes um, helping me. I'm freaking out, trying not to stress too much. So long story short, they admitted me for three days. Um, they put me on Pitocin, which is a contraction medicine to like stop your contractions. Needless to say, it stopped my whole body. Like, um, the doctor came in probably, I don't know, a few hours after I was on it and I couldn't breathe, I couldn't sit up. So they put me on oxygen. We'll throw up some pictures of that now. <laughs> and um, I couldn't eat anything. On the third day, I finally got crackers and popsicles. Um, baby girl tried to come to Earthside really early, and we had to stop her. Then, after that... So, after that appointment, Shay had to go on bed rest. And so, she stayed in Beaumont, closer to the doctor. And this is like an hour drive. And she stayed with her mom. <laughs> Wait. And, uh, Mom Rhonda, if you're watching this... It wasn't, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> and uh, so I had to keep working in Lake Charles. And then uh, we have an appointment come up at, she had my, or, well, Shay was 37 weeks in. We go to the appointment and we get there. Do you want to tell them this part or I'll tell them? I can tell them. Okay. Okay, so we get there. I am 37 weeks, like that day, I was 37 weeks. And, um, I'm feeling great, didn't have any contractions that I was knowing of, and Dr. Waddell, who was my doctor, was like, mm, you know what, she's still not really gaining weight, and we're going to induce you. Today. Right now. And then the pumpkins made her grand entrance the next day. <laughs> uh, you about to get yetter for the first time. Bro. Are you nervous? A little bit. Does it hurt? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> How long should this session take? <laughs> oh, you getting uh, evil brat? Uh, I charge by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one you're going with? Oh yeah. That's my dude. Oh, 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 oh. This is joy, this is summer Keep alive Stay alive Got your medal on oh, We're alone Making sweet love Taking time The guy strikes us Hi Hi Say good morning <laughs> Say hi Hi buddy Okay you're ready to talk about you Okay Alright hi guys Hi So let's talk about Maya's birth. Are you ready? Okay. So we caught y'all up on the last doctor's appointment that we went to. Um, Lucas was actually with me and I was 37 weeks that day and Dr. Waddell was like, all right, let's induce you. 
Yeah, he was like, let's do it. And so I freaked out, I was panicking, my heart was racing, I thought I had three weeks left. And I looked at Lucas and was like, what does that mean? I'm so confused, what's happening? And I was like, does that mean I'm getting a C-section? Y'all, was freaking out. Like, everything that I'd researched and like, read about birth and labor and everything was gone. And Lucas was like, no, calm down, it just means that he's gonna start prepping you to get ready. And I was like, okay, all right, let's do this. So they admitted me into the hospital. Um, Maya was losing weight. So there was no reason to be um, still, you know, bacon because there was not much bacon being done. So anyways, um, they induced me. They started to, you know, get everything ready. They gave me a medicine. I don't remember what it was called, honestly, but um, it was to kind of um, thin out my cervix and kind of get the show on the road, right? Then they put um, a Foley bulb. And if you don't know what that is, I'll let you research it because I'm not even gonna get into that. But it was not comfortable. So, they put a Foley bulb in through the night. Um, I basically was admitted in the hospital by around three, four o'clock, um, August 31st, 2015. And he came in on September 1st that morning, hoping that I was ready and dilated and Dr. Riddell was like, oh, nope, you're not ready. So they gave me some more of the medicine. Um, I did make sure that it was not Pitocin. So then in literally like 10 minutes, I started dilating. Um, contractions were back to back. I was a bunch of family in the room, including Lucas's grandma, Nanny, if she's seeing this, sorry, I didn't mean to curse out loud. Just kind of happened. So then they're like, all right, let's go it's time to push push <laughs> and in the room was lucas my mother rhonda and my best friend sydney Nala. and i pushed for probably about two hours and then voila yeah. he's like ta-da yeah. <laughs> miss thing was here and she made her arrival yeah. september 1st uh 2015 and she was Four pounds, two ounces, lovable little thing. Um, however, um, when we got her back into the room, uh, we noticed her ear, right? So she's got my crochet stage one in her ear and she has triple X syndrome, um, trisomy X, which instead of having two X chromosomes, she has three. Can you say, I'm superwoman? No. Yes, you are. Um, also, my placenta was shaped like a triangle, which is not normal either. And my umbilical cord, we found out, had like a rip in it, like a tear in it. I'm not sure how big it was. Lucas might know. He might have seen it. But, um, Dr. Riddell was like, well, this was a miracle. It was, you know, God told us to take her at 37 weeks because, you know, she wasn't gaining weight and had I kept going in the pregnancy, it could have been possible that she would have made it. So everything happens for a reason and Miss Thing is here, huh? Can you say hi? Um, so she wears glasses now. She um, has a nerve in her right eye that is not fully developed. And then she wears her hearing aid. Can you say, look at my hearing aid? It's a Baja. And it is also her right ear that has my crochet in it. But she's doing great, she's healthy. And that's all that matters, huh? So we'll keep y'all updated. Can you say bye? Bye. Kisses. Mwah. Well, can't you see that it's just raining? There ain't no need to go outside. But baby, you hardly even know. When I try to show you, song is meant to keep you doing what you're supposed to. Waking up too early, maybe we could sleep. Make you banana pancakes, pretend like it's the weekend now. And we could pretend it all the time. Hi guys, so I wanted to update everyone um, on Maya's like evaluation that we finished on Monday, and then we had her art meeting today. So basically, Friday was a total failure. Like. Total. 
So Lucas brought her on Monday of this week and she did great. She finished the um, evaluation, the assessment, and then we went in today and did the ARD meeting, which is where we went over all of her like goals, kind of where she is, what we need to be, you know, working on with, you know, the teachers and everything and to see that she did qualify for the public school. So she does qualify, which is awesome. It's going to be a four hour day for her. Just, you know, she'll go in, she'll be with a special teacher. It's going to be a very small classroom and she'll be able to focus on what needs to be focused on, um, which is her speech and her communication skills. And she's going to be going to the school behind me big girl school freaking out I just went in and registered her and naturally when I came out it was pouring down raining but then I get my car I put everything down and it's bright and shiny so I promise I did decently get ready today and then got caught in the rain anyways so this mom is gonna cry 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 I'm gonna be so emotional can't even imagine but Tuesday she starts at a public school yeah so she will be three on Saturday three and then I only get two days and then she's going to the public school what is life anyways so that's kind of the update on Namaya's I will take a picture of her Tuesday and blast all of social media with it it's her first day picture I don't care that everybody else has already done it it's happening it's her first first day of public school anyways hope everyone has a fabulous day peace out